Hi, and welcome back. In this quick start lesson, we'll work on more than just a simple button. You'll learn how to use components in Protopy to create a complete double tap like interaction coupled with a snazzy Lottie animation. Let's go. Open the Pi in Protopy Studio. It is already set up as a scrolling feed with four posts. Don't worry if you haven't learned scrolling yet. We cover it in another lesson. Here's the Lottie animation we'll use for this like interaction. Download this from the Lottie Files website and simply drag it into your Pi file. Drop it right on top of the image in the first post. Quick pro tip. When working with Lottie animations in Protopie Studio, once you add it to your scene, the first frame will be displayed. In this particular animation, the first frame is blank, so all you'll see is the object's bounding box. Use the smart guides that appear to align the Lottie animation with the center of the image. Now, let's set up our interaction. Add a double tap trigger to the image right underneath the animation. Another pro tip, select the image in the layers list first before adding the double tap trigger. This way the image is automatically linked, a real time saver. When the user double taps the image, you'll want the animation to play. The cool thing is Lottie files work just like video files in Protopie. Add a playback response to the Lottie animation, leave the default action set as play. Let's preview. If you double tap right in the center of the image, our animation doesn't play. It only plays if you tap to either side. And our animation only plays once. If I try to double tap again, nothing happens. Both of these are easy fixes. To fix the first problem, select the Lottie animation layer, then choose Make Lower Layers Touchable. This will allow touch events to pass through two layers below. Let's do a quick preview. Try double tapping anywhere on the image. The animation now works. To fix the second problem, reset the animation to its start each time so it's ready to animate again. Add a reset response to the Lottie animation layer. Adjust the start delay option so that the animation resets after the animation has played through. 1.5 seconds should just about do it. Let's preview again. The interaction works, but the experience is a bit abrupt when the animation resets. Wouldn't it be nice if the animation faded out before resetting? To do this, let's add an opacity response to the Lottie animation layer. Go ahead and set the start delay to 1.5 seconds. Now let's delay the reset a little bit longer so that it doesn't happen until the icon has faded out. Go to the reset response, or as we covered in our timeline tutorial, simply drag it so it snaps to the end of the opacity animation in the timeline. The interaction will now reset only after the fade out is complete. Let's preview again. It looks beautiful. Great job. But we're not done yet. For a full experience, you'll need to apply this interaction to the remaining three posts. You could repeat the above steps three more times, but in Protopy, we like to do things a little smarter. Instead, turn the post into a reusable component to save time. Select the layer named Post1 in the layers list. Right click and choose Create Component. Notice how the layer name has changed color and a lightning bolt icon appears beside it. This is how you know this layer is a copy of a component. Expand the library drawer. Take note of the item named Post1. This is our main component. Rename it to something more meaningful. Let's go with Post. So, Protopy also gave the name Post11 to the copy in our layers list. Let's rename this to Post1. But wait, did you notice that our interactions have disappeared? Where did they go? No reason to freak out. All the triggers and responses associated with the component you just created are now in the main component. Simply double click the main component to open it for editing. There's all of our interaction. Whew. One last pro tip. Any edits you make to a main component get reflected in all copies used in your Pi. But for now, you don't need to make any more edits to our component right now. Go back to our scene. Remove the remaining three posts. We'll replace them with copies of our component. Duplicate the layer name, Post1, three times with Command-D on Mac or Control-D on Windows. You'll need to rearrange the new layers into a vertical stack. Drag one layer so its top edge snaps to the bottom edge of the one above it. Now it looks like there's four identical posts. But don't worry, Protopie allows us to easily customize these. You can change the avatar. You can change the main image.
and also change the profile name. Uh-oh, the text is not editable. To change this, reopen the main component for editing. Locate the text layer named Jacob Jones and choose Make Editable in the top right. Rename it with Profile Name. Remember when I mentioned that a change to your main component is reflected in all copies used in your Pi? Let's return to the scene and see how this worked. There you go. Now you can change the profile name. Click the layer named Profile Name inside Post 2, press Enter to change the name. Now you can customize the remaining posts. Let's add one last finishing touch. See the small heart icon below the image? How about making it change state from outline to filled when the user double taps on the image? You already know what to do. Once again, simply make this change in the main component and all four copies will be updated. Double click the main component to open it for editing. Expand the group named Actions and the group within named Icon Heart. There are two versions of the icon stacked on top of each other, the filled version and the outline version. Set the opacity of the filled version to zero to have it hidden initially. Now add another opacity response under our double tap trigger to set the opacity of the filled heart icon to 100. If you click preview right now, you can preview your changes to your component in isolation of that scene. Fantastic! And the best part when working with components is when you choose to return to the main scene, you'll see that all four of the component copies have been automatically updated with the new logic, and no customizations are lost. So that's how easy it is to create the like micro interaction in ProtoPie. Now go share the love.